Hey folks, Landstrider here, and you're watching episode 4 in the Minecraft modded server play series. And I'm hanging out here on my new island, waiting for Saxon to join me. He's on his way. I think he's yep. about halfway here. And the sun is just coming up again, and I'm ready to go outside and work with my blood altar. And soon I'm going to yeah, take something so that I can at least get up to it. Because I got a little raised. Um, I just need to put some wood around here so that I can get up to it and work with it a little bit. And then, like I said, this this uh, force wood is very, very temporary. I'm going to totally replace this stuff with chisel, really awesome looking blocks. Some, some kind of chisel blocks. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have to look at what all those potentially are before I decide exactly what they're going to be. Uh, there's like so many choices that you can do with chisel. It's pretty, pretty ridiculous. Okay, well actually, I want to work with this, but the problem is, is I don't think I have enough uh, hunger to really work with it. I'm going to have to either fish some fish up or find some plants. Oh yeah, I wanted to test whether or not this bone meal would work on the origin grass to grow glass blocks. It won't do nothing on origin blocks. Damn it. Dang it. <laughs> so I gotta find some kind of plant or something um, to... Oh, that's gonna... I'm sorry for any background noise you might be hearing at the time. There's some origin grass. <laughs> it doesn't... didn't give me nothing. Didn't give me anything. Ah, oh, this is a... Uh, uh, well, the sugar, that's not really going to do me uh, a ton of good, is it? I mean, that's, that's good, because we need sugar for, like, a... Uh, for paper and stuff, but... And there's some cows. So, you know, I could go get my Ars Magica spellbook before long. Yeah. You could. Before, not too long, actually. Uh, especially since we got lunch. We got well, actually, the cows. I can eat the cows. What am I thinking? I can eat cows. Duh. There's food right there. And it's a cow. But remember, you kill the cows and you lose out on books. How? I was not thinking. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's how I get the For, books. Never mind me. <laughs> I do not know anything about Minecraft anymore. It's, you're having a backwards day, is what it is. You're having a reversey, <laughs> reversey day. Hey, I see origin grass coming up on my map. Yep, that would yeah, be the place. So, okay, well, there's one more sugar cane. And I see your there. altar. Oh, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, that's the uh, east side <laughs> there. Uh, the peninsula that goes down to the um, to further south is actually pretty far away. It goes pretty far out away from the graveyard. Is it an island or a peninsula? <laughs> well, there's an island with a peninsula. I don't know how you... What do you call that? I mean, an island if can it have connects a peninsula, to the, right? If it connects to the con big land, it's a peninsula. Well, what, what's what's a little what's a little jut out that's connected to an island called? What do you call that? Well, I uh, guess part of the island. <laughs> uh, the, okay, well, that's not... That's not very descriptive. <laughs> Never said it was going to be descriptive. We want well, we want big long technical terms for everything. We want to have everything have its own word. <laughs> well, I in any way they fine. Uh, it's a pylon. Py a pylon. <laughs> a py a pylon is what the, is what holds the dock up. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, the uh, the island has a extension that goes a little further south, kind of a narrow little jut out down to the south. And there's a bunch of cows down here that I am... Ca what is this? Ooh, a cave that goes down under the ground. That looks promising. Hey, come, don't go down there, cow. Oh, oh, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> what if I would only have one heart? <laughs> I knew you didn't because it was telling me you had 20. Damage yeah, in a case. 20 health. 
Uh, I was, I pretty, I think I pretty much went over the majority of the major mods uh, earlier. Oh wow, look at all that giant cavern going over that way. That's pretty cool. Okay, well I've got steak to cook, and I need to cut down a few trees to cook to cook them with, I guess. And then something I didn't think about is I didn't quite bring enough bricks. I brought enough to kind of start a smeltery down here, but we're going to need to make some more smeltery bricks if we want to have our own smeltery down here. Which I'm pretty sure we're going to want that for ore processing. It's not going to be it's not going to matter so much for tools after a very short period of time, but uh well at least not for me. I've already got a force pick. I'm only using it though to uh to break stuff that I can't break with my uh iron pick. Did you make iron web iron tools and stuff before you left the newbie area? No. Area? No. no. That's a banner. That's a shame. Cuz the smeltery over there was full of iron. <laughs> you could have made it pretty easy. Okay, well. I guess uh did you see, did you see where my little hidey hole was at over here by the altar? No, I actually ended up not seeing the altar. What I saw was part of the graveyard. Oh well, the altar's got like yellow. I'm all the way on the east most. Yeah, well, you're almost here. Yeah, there's the hidey hole, and over here's the altar. Oh yeah, I gotta cook this meat up so I can uh, start sacrificing some blood to the altar and get me a blood orb. <laughs> I gotta have sustenance so I can heal. Uh, ch 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 ch. Oh, first I wanna like make charcoal out of the wood that I picked up. I, oh, because yeah, I don't have any charcoal. And then I got some stuff in here that I gathered when I was uh, exploring. Like, uh, well, I've got I've got a forced sapperling and some. Uh, some force uh, gems and some gold nuggets or gold ingots. You can make yourself a force pick, Saxon. Okay. If you need to, um, that at least that we then you can at least mine everything you need to mine. Uh, you can even make a shovel too, probably, because there's an extra ingot in there. I think two gold nuggets or two gold ingots will probably give you four or give you three pieces of four ingot. So with the four ingots in there and uh, and making three more you could uh get you a pick and a shovel of force. Use the force, Luke. Use the force. Uh and uh, we even technically we even got enough gold to make a uh, an axe if you really needed it. Although, you should have an axe, don't you? You have like a flint axe or something, right? No. You don't even have an axe? I made a flint pick before I came because I needed one piece of aluminum. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I got some persimmons while I was... Okay, so how do I... How do I do? Uh... The hell? Two, two, uh, two gold ingots and a force gem will give you three force ingots. In just a regular crafting table? Yep. That is an unrecorded sure. recipe. I do not see it in there at all. Really? Check it. I might, I might be wrong. Force ingot. Uh, yeah, it's under dark crafting, not under shapeless. Dark crafting has like its own cra own uh, category when you're looking at any eye.
Okay. Just trust me. Two gold ingots and a force gem will give you three. I did it. Yeah. Don't worry. It worked out. It all worked out. Uh, so yeah, that that'll give you some tools to work with while we're while we're establishing ourselves. So I figured, um, yeah, I'm building the altar over there, and then like on the top of this hill that we're underneath right now, I was gonna make like the actual magic fortress where we would do Thomcraft and Ars Magica. And then I figured, if I kind of figured, I would do witchcraft down in this valley. Just over uh, here. Quick question. Yes. Why are you such a vanilla freak that you use a wooden door? Uh, was there was there a better <laughs> door? I you mean, could have made a carpenter door. Oh. Oh yeah, I could. <laughs> I I was in a hurry. I was trying to keep the zombies from coming. Yeah. So anyway, down in the valley where the skeletons at right now, that's where I was thinking about doing the witchcraft and we would fill that in with. Uh, uh, oh. stuff but one thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to like get some real grass and bring it over here and clear out the origin grass I I, I didn't even think about that but I, I thought it would work for uh, for regular plant life but it does not seem to grow regular plant life so I'm not sure and, but it does spread it does spread like grass the origin grass does. Man, I need that food cooked right now. Them raw steaks. Dang it. Come here. Just cook them steaks. I'm almost starving to death over here. And I got uh, got you some water otter chokes and some mint. Oh, you brought me about the mandrake seeds. Yeah, I brought all those. I've been collecting I... the Ars Magica flowers as I see them too. I collect witchery. You collect Ars Magica. That seems to be how it works. <laughs> well, I I well I was I was saying earlier on an earlier episode. Um, you know, I, I want to do enough witch, witchcraft to be able to uh, protect yourself, protect myself, and pull a few pranks. Basically, I, I was also saying in an earlier episode that I want to perfect my pranking level a little bit on here, since my pranking level is, huh? <laughs> my uh, pranking level is five eggs. Five eggs. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't. I've never actually gotten a prank off yet on either of the servers yet. So uh, I mean, I, I figured that was appropriate level when I was writing up my info. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining it. I imagine that I would have got about the same evaluation from anybody else writing it up. <laughs> I I got right into the pranking. I mean, I didn't wait very long at all before I was pranking. I I wanted to, but like I couldn't figure out who like to prank, and then like I got a good prank, but it actually ended up just being I turned it into an automated self repairing house <laughs> instead of pranking somebody else. I made it a useful automated thing for myself. <laughs> I am lagging. I'm not doing bad, really. It must just be you. Just you. Getting this coal that I see in the wall down here. I'm like, I gotta get that. Give me that fuel source. Come on, dude. Stop! Are we I'm moving five blocks at a time. 
Are we going to build a uh, big reactor again like we did in the test server? Similar to that? Or maybe go smaller this time? Because that was pretty that was pretty big that was pretty much overkill for what we were using it for. <laughs> of course we could build a laser drill. That would be fun. Freaking lag is gonna kill me. Like it always does. Time for a hidey hole. Oh, shoot. I, uh, I'll have to cut that little bit out because I uh, had to tab out for, for uh, Skype message. Uh, you know, my luck always proves me the worst luck. I oh, continue going south to find more land. And the bit of land I stop on happens to be an island that has what looks like two continents to either side the continent yeah. to either side okay and of course it's night <laughs> so you're saying you're getting overrun I'm saying I'm hiding in a hole <laughs> on an island that's probably getting quickly covered in mobs but no chickens yet no chickens. Yeah, well, that would be useful. We can, like, just grow. We can just hatch our resources. Get us a rainbow chicken. Bring it back. <laughs> uh, kind of wish we would. Uh, I kind of wish I would have picked New Matacraft as one of my picks. Now, I'm not sure which one I would have replaced, though. Okay, just waiting for the daytime, waiting for the daytime so I can go out to that altar. Actually, there's no mobs in the general vicinity other than that one mana guy. If he don't see me, I'm good. He did not see me, so I'm good. Wait, where'd my food go? I had a bunch of food. What did I do? Put it in the chest. <laughs> I need the food to regenerate the health. Yeah, I did put it in there. Need the food to regenerate the health so I can get the blood orb so I can eat. <laughs> da da da. Etc. Etc. Okay, Mr. Mana or Creeper Dude, Grand Mana Guy, you did not see me. You don't see me. I'm hiding by an altar. You don't see me. He's walking right at me, though. I think he does see me. Yeah, he sees me. Coming for me. Level up, Rod Sword. Level up. Oh, shoot. We don't have. Oh, yeah, we do have that mod. What am I talking about? Oh, I'm getting confused with my mod packs now. I'm running so many different <laughs> mod packs. My 172 doesn't have iguana tweaks because it's not out for 172. Okay, that. I don't see, I don't have a measuring thing yet, so I'm just gonna have to. Yeah, it's becoming day. Yay! Yeah, 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 you're semi safe now, almost. In a few more minutes, a minute or two. Okay. Well, I'll disturb you all I want. Yeah, <laughs> you can disturb me. All. Yeah, you are disturbing. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I I silence Skype so it won't keep blipping through my whole video.
This place is huge. Or, not huge, but there's lots of grass here. Oh, when I was exploring earlier in, uh, I think it was episode 3, I found a, uh, I found a village, and it had a Thaumonomicon, so I didn't have to, uh, even make a wand or anything yet, and I got a Thaumonomicon, so I can start doing that stuff. I still gotta make a Thaumometer, though, because I can't use it without any research points, which I can't get without a th without, uh, making a Thaumometer. Okay. A little bit more blood, and then I'm gonna pretty much gonna get. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna now work now with the diamond to make me my blood thingy, blood orb, blood orb. And then I'm gonna have to go find that village again and find make make give me an emerald so I can get the next tier blood orb whenever I get this altar upgraded. You know, so I really yeah no actually kind of like this spot. I was just thinking, you know, I could actually move it to a, uh, you know, further inland. But I, I kind of wanted to, uh, I mean, a blood magic kind of pretty separate. Ars magic and thomcraft can kind of be combined to the same area, but and then witchery needs to be outside, you know, whereas thomcraft can be inside a building. Mm -hmm. There it is. Bleak. Orb, find that, suck up some blood. I want to suck your blood. Actually, give me that back out of there. <laughs> I need to, uh, I need to get some smooth stone in there. Start making, uh, start making me some slates. Cause yeah, I am sticking with blood magic for my, um, my startup thing. Um. I mean, I'll, I'll be more than happy to put together machines and stuff if you want me to, but I'm not going to go grab resources until I actually have, like, the tools that I really want for getting resources. <laughs> the uh, dark craft tools are great, but they're not nearly as powerful as the ones I'm working towards. Mm hmm You've seen what the bound pick will do. Yeah. And shovel. If I had the bound shovel, man, we could flatten this island. <laughs> and the graveyard, maybe. I don't know. Well, the problem is, is that that origin dirt, the origin grass, the bound shovel doesn't reg register it as dirt, and the bound pickaxe doesn't register it as something mineable. So none of the bound weapon none of the bound tools will remove it with their right click ability <laughs> you have to take it out regular <laughs> but you know what will remove it our hmm. magic a dig spell that'll tear it up Oh, I wish I had that cheating method that uh, that uh, Direwolf uses in uh, his Forgecraft 2 series, most recent one. They have Botania. Of course, that's a 172 mod pack. But they have Botania, and there's a flower that gives them regen 4. So they just plant it right beside the blood altar. And they sit there and sack their health, like, continuously. Uh-huh. Oh wow! It's like you don't even hardly need to use mobs. You could just, you know, go over, oh, go over to it, and you know, sit there and hold the click button, and you're good. Uh huh. I don't think we have anything like that. I mean, there are some things that would give us regen, but they're blood magic, uh, potions. And from my understanding, at least from what I've heard and read, that's kind of like a diminishing returns type thing, where like it takes so much, it takes a certain amount of blood life points to make that potion, and then by the time you uh, use it all up, 
you know, you, you use all the, the health that you get from it, you don't gain as much life points as you actually used in creating the potion. Yeah. I don't know how much truth there is to that, but... Oh, I'm waiting for my health to come back again. <laughs> oh, this is going to be slow thing, so I think I'm going to cut the uh, this part out. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm not into a full episode yet, so I will be back after I've got all the slates to upgrade the altar to a tier 2. Okay, folks, I'm back for just a minute. I was having a food crisis. I had a little uh, incident and had to fly back to the island here <laughs> uh, so yeah I uh yeah don't laugh you could happen to you I'll be right back okay uh, so uh, yeah I got a little area tilled back here and now I am finally able to grow some food on the island here for yeah for everybody well we in Saxon food source. He's out exploring right now, but I think he's exploring the restroom at his house at the moment, so he'll be back in just a second. Where does he go? He just always drops a seed. Hmm. Guess it didn't that time. Get down here real quick. Uh, Nope, no seed. Uh, but that does give me enough bread to go cook up so I can get enough life points in the altar to finish up the rest of the upgrade. So I want to get this baby upgrade to the tier 2 before I wrap this one up. Let's see here. There's no blood in there at all right now. Uh, I better go cook up my bread first so I can uh, keep my strength up. Oh, I, I did replace this door because zombies knocked it down. It was a carpenter's door? They, they have all kinds of cool different options that you can set. This is the basic, the one that it starts out with, and then you can change it to like a full window or uh, a whole bunch of other options that you can change that door to, and they're all customizable and then you can give it any uh, any block and it will change its skin to that block. Here, I'll do that here in just a second. I just want to cook up. Oh, I see I'm cooking some some seared bricks here. Wait for the air. We'll just, I need that bread. I need the bread. Bread's a little more important right this second. Put away some. Oh, I have some persimmons. I can uh, eat those. Those drop from these origin trees. I guess maybe that's. Uh, I don't know if that's what they originally dropped. Like, you know, Minecraft? Like, all the oak trees would drop persimmons? Or if that's just. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing or not. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's do oak. That's what I got. I don't think that's going to change it. I think it's already oak looking. Whoops, I did stone. I want to... Can I get that back off? If I change that? No. Let's see, that's what I want here. Break it. I guess that's the easiest way. Okay, try that again. Oak. Oak. Not exactly, because it's a jungle. I didn't have any more jungle, so... Yeah, you can see it. Uh, you can put whatever texture skin you want on these uh, carpenters' uh, blocks. Whether it be the door, the blocks, uh, there's a bunch. Um, actually, I can see that's what I was looking up in NEI last. 
Uh, there's barriers, there's the actual block. Uh, pressure plates, which is the one I'd used on the inside, and if you have a if you have a carpenter's hammer, you can uh, change the function of that plate so that it acts like a uh, obsidian plate and will only be triggered on players, or you can have it only triggered on mobs. It, it has a couple different uh, functions of things that it can do. So let me get back to filling up my. Ooh. Oh, it would suck to get struck by lightning right now. Filling up my altar here. With life essence. And making a few more slates. I need eight more. I've got my first eight in order to do my upgrade. I want to need more slates than that even. If I want to uh, make any of the sigils and stuff like that afterwards. But... I won't worry about that uh, in the next episode. I just want to get tier 2 here, so. Okay, I want to wait till I heal up so I can get a good, a decent amount of blood in there again, so. Uh, again, I just want to show that I, the you know, garden progress that I had to, uh, yeah, I got uh, overrun by a zombie there while I was kind of like not paying attention. But I will be back again after I get a few more slates made because it's kind of a slow process. So it's get, I'm sure that's going to get boring to watch me just sit here and continuously and fairly slowly fill this up and have to keep eating food to keep my health up. So, uh, back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I've got the blank slates. I've cooked up enough smooth stone because it takes quite a lot to make these uh, initial runes. It takes like a lot of stone to make uh, blood magic stuff in general. So, let's get to it. There we go. I need to bleep that in the middle. There we go. Uh... Eight. Yep, that's all I need. Well, I guess I, I guess I overcalculated as much stone as I need. Oh well, that's okay. I will use it up, no problem. Uh, so yeah, let me get my eight. But uh, it's nighttime again. Oh well, it'll be all right. There's nothing around right now, so <laughs> nothing here to worry about. Uh, so come out here. I can get rid of these awful-looking. Well, actually, they they look good in the right context, but not in a blood hour. I don't think. I did a whole altar out of uh, these force planks in the test world. Uh, it, I guess it didn't look terrible. It looked better after I replaced them with force bricks, but they're still yellow. And I don't know. I want to go with something like, uh, you know, maybe like. A little more blood magic y style. So, yep, there's my upgraded altar. Unfortunately, I didn't make a sigil. I wonder if I have glass. Let me come check see if I have glass. I probably don't have any glass, but probably won't be hard to make some glass to make sure to double check that it is actually upgraded. So, if I have sand in here, I do. I can go ahead and toss some of that in there and grab a piece of stone. Yeah, I should probably go ahead and make my first sigil too while I'm at it, now that I have an actual reason to have... Oh, shit. An ender tot. Oh, nasty. He's kind of near the altar. Hopefully he'll leave me alone. Uh, yeah. Leave me alone, ender tot. Ender tots are added by Darkcraft, and when you kill them, they spawn up to three more Endermen. <laughs> so I don't want to really mess with them right this moment. Although, actually, the Ender Pearls would be good to have. They are a good source of Ender Pearls if you're looking for Ender Pearls. Okay, so a blank slate, blood shard, 
or uh, blood orb, and I need I think seven pieces of glass. Yes, one more piece of glass. And there we go. There's my basic divination sigil. Yay! Uh, make sure I keep my blood orb with me now. I can go out and uh, if I click anywhere in the air, or whatever, it's going to tell me what my total life pool is in my network and if I click on the altar it's going to tell me the amount of life pool life essence and tier of the altar and total capacity of it so uh, there's my start to blood magic uh, I've got a little bit of a hidey hole here on the island I am going to call this one quits because I am so tired I'm just falling asleep at the computer I am sorry if uh, it's been a little bit of uh, discon discombobulated as I was uh... <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did like comment and subscribe uh, if you didn't uh, leave a comment anyway and I will see if I can't make it a little bit better next time I will catch you later say goodbye Saxon goodbye